Good morning. It's my husband and I. We're on our way to church. Praise the Lord. We're on our way to church. But I just want to encourage you. He's driving, y'all, so he can't, he can't talk. Or wait or speak about that. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. God is good. Let me encourage you. There is a season right now. We're in the middle of a season where great things are happening and bad things are happening, too. Um, you're getting bad announcements and then you're getting positive stuff coming at you. If this if this is uh, pertaining to you, is this is how things are looking already. Like one minute you're praising God and you got your hands up. And the next minute somebody is delivering some bad news. Let me tell you what's happening right now. God is walking with you. And the reason why you're able to still celebrate in the midst of a storm is because the peace of God is on you. And the reason why you're not crying as much as you should be crying is because God's joy is on you. And so listen, the world is going to get worse. That's what we need to go ahead and start processing. Things in this world are going to get worse. If you go ahead and read in Revelations, if you listen to the prophecies of uh, the, the Bible, the men of old, even prophecies of men that have walked on this earth in our time, they are letting you know that uh, this is not going to stay like this. It's going to get worse because the enemy knows that at some point every knee is going to have to bow and every tongue is going to have to confess. And in order for that to take place, all of the things that God has prophesied to us has to take place also. So that's why good things are happening and bad things are happening. But what you got to do is you got to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Like he's giving out success and, and then there's some bad news coming. Somebody is celebrating you one minute and then some bad news is coming. You got to stand fast. I mean, really, you got to just stand and know that God is with you. You can't be wavering. You got to rejoice. You got to tend to your own business. You got to look at your own stuff. Like this year, because there are going to be two or three different things going on at the same time and those emotions are not going to be lined up in place because again there's going to be bad news coming and then there's going to be good news you're going to have people celebrating you you're going to have people talking about you you're going to have blessings flying from heaven then you're going to see it's going to seem like hell is coming up around your feet I'm telling you, blessings are going to drop down and it's going to seem like hell is coming up around your feet. But you are covered. You need to know that if you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, you are covered. I just need to encourage you this morning to just hold on to God's hand. It doesn't matter what the situations look like. Like you, one minute you at a, a function and you celebrating and next minute you at the hospital. The uh, One minute... You are uh, celebrating the birth of somebody's baby at some bride or some baby shower, or you at a bridal shower, and then you get some news somebody in your family done died. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Things are going to happen different this year than any other year. And I'm not confessing or uh, proclaiming to be a prophet. I'm just telling you what the Lord told me. He wants you to hold on. Hold on and still trust him. Still believe. Still praise. Still worship. Still, It doesn't matter what it looked like. It does not matter what it looked like. See, the enemy wants you to think that the Lord has forgotten about you. That you, uh, you can't never have no peace. You can't never have joy. You can't never get stuff together all this stuff keep coming folks around you won't go nowhere people still being dumb and foolish and acting crazy you know i can't never get somewhere where i could just enjoy five minutes but what you're gonna have to learn this year is how to do both <laughs> i'm telling you you're gonna have to learn that in everything give thanks so in your situation when it looked like okay uh, one minute I was hanging out and we was laughing and the next minute, see y'all ain't processed it like that. It's been going on. You just ain't processed it that you've been able to get through these tumbling tossed. And so you're going through a season. I'm telling you right now where well, blessings are going to be falling, but hell going to look like it's rising up around your feet. But you just keep walking. You cannot be burned. You're going to be just like the three boys that went into the fire. Yes. Amen, Pastor. Thank you. 
for everybody that's saying something, but you will not burn. See, this is the year when you're going to have to go in the lion's den, but you won't get bit. You're going to have to go into the fire, but you won't burn. You're going to have to, uh, look, stand firm on stuff this year. You're going to have to keep celebrating. You're going to have to keep praising him. Even if you have to go to the hospital, you're going to have to shout in the hospital. You're going to have to shout in the Walmart. You're going to have to ask God to protect you in places where you ain't had to be protected at your kin folks' house. You're going to have to walk in that anointing this year. You're not going to be able to just do willy-nilly this year. I pick God up whenever. You ain't going to be able because, again, good things are going to be happening on one side of you and bad things are going to be happening on the other side. And so you must, you must hold on to God's unchanging hand. You got to do it with God this year, baby. You've been coming through. You know, you do a little bit here and a little bit that. You don't want to carry your Bible like uh, Pastor Clark. Uh, cold clock said, cold clock cold, so I'm saying it backwards. But you don't want to carry your Bible. You ain't going to have no choice, baby. You're going to have to represent. And then that's how we're going to show God that we're serious about this. That's how we're going to show God that we're not playing. That's how we're going to be able to stand in these evil times. I'm just telling you, it's going to be weird this year. See, one minute they're going to be calling your name out on an award. The next minute somebody's going to be trying to flat your ties. I'm just telling you, that's how the enemy is going to uh do his stuff this year he know that he cannot stop god's blessings this year he understands that he can't keep sending these old crazy people because you done made up in your mind that you ain't gonna deal with these crazy people no more you done made up in your mind you're gonna get your finances right you done made up in your mind you're gonna lose weight you done made up in your mind so he know this year he can't bother you like that he know that he can't come at you sideways this year so what he's gonna do is send these crazy folks like double like you're gonna be like i just got rid of one of them how I'm, how, how do I have two? I just got rid of that situation. Why am I fighting two demons now? I'm just telling you. Because he understands that you done made up your mind to serve the Lord. You done made up your mind this year. See, you might have been saved last year, but you ain't do all that God asked you to do. You see what I'm saying? You didn't walk in that anointing. You didn't walk in your gift. You didn't walk. You weren't fearless last year. So this year, because you are, God is going to set you up and the blessings that you have been praying for, the sons and daughters that you have been praying to change around, the stuff that you've been asking God for, he's getting ready to do it, I'm telling you. But you're going to be confused. And so this morning, the Lord don't want you to be confused because if this happens right here, then the enemy has to start a problem over here. He knows he can't touch that thing no more that God has told him to go ahead, go ahead on now. He know he can't bother you in that area no more. See, it used to disturb your peace when folks didn't speak to you. But now you done made up in your mind. It don't matter who's speaking, who don't speak. So what he going to do then is have folks talking about you if they wasn't talking about last year. I'm just telling you. The people going to come out. So right now, in your mind, make up the... Get yourself together. Let me say it like that. Get yourself together to decide to make a choice to serve him no matter what. To praise him no matter what. I don't care what I'm going through. I don't care. Hey, Felicia, good morning, pretty. I don't care what the situation look like. I understand what you have for me to do, God. I'm going to walk in what you call me to do. I'm going to do what you said. I'm going to go after my dreams. I'm going to go after my destiny. I'm going to go for my purpose. I'm going to do all the things that you asked me to do. And then while you're doing that, again, keep your mind on the fact that the Lord is going to allow. He's going to allow the devil to do what he do. But you're going to be all right. Let me encourage you this morning. You're going to be okay you're going to be fine you're going to be covered you're going to be um blessed touched anointed all of that this year yes it's probably already confusing some of y'all because for me it has already started my my stuff has started in january where one minute i was praising god and then the next minute i was getting bad news and one minute i was telling god thank you for uh putting the book on amazon and the next minute we got some more bad news so i already been processing that and that's probably the only way i can tell you that you're not going to be able to just be opening up your mouth talking about it and everything i give thanks and don't give thanks and everything i'm just telling you this year you ain't gonna be able to do that you're gonna have to walk in that you're gonna have to trust him with all your heart you're gonna have to know that he's going to work the situations out you're gonna have to speak life to every dead situation you're gonna have to open up your mouth and praise him when it don't look like 
You need to lift up your hands. Look like you need to just cry. Cry and lift them hands up. Cry and shout. Cry and do what the Lord told you to do. Because in this season, there's going to be some confusion. I'm telling you, some of y'all are going to start blaming God for some stuff. And he's telling you now, I got you. You covered. I got you in the front, back, side. I got the head. I got your feet. I got you. I got you. Walk in it. Walk in it. Y'all be blessed this morning. This is a word from God. This is not princess. This ain't me coming just to be cute this morning. I'm in my collar. I don't even like to do much in the collar. My husband is my witness. I... I'm dressed for church. Uh, but usually I wait till after I can take all this stuff off or whatever. But this morning I came to you because God told me to let somebody know that you are you don't have to be confused about what's going on in your life. You're going to be celebrating this year in the midst of going through some stuff. You don't have to, you don't have to be confused. This is what the Lord promised you. So this year will be a season and flow of blessing. This year will be a season and flow of blessings. Your name will be called like the Lord told you. You. to the nations you will go like the Lord told you your businesses will, will prosper like the Lord told you all of the things that the Lord told you are going to come forth but the problem is you're going to get bad news and stuff but he's telling you right now to stay focused stay focused stay focused it's just a distraction it is nothing that's going to hinder you harm you hurt you nothing you got to keep praising it Okay, you you can do this. You got it. You got it. Get your Bible out now. Get your praise on. If you're not going to church this morning, you owe God. You owe God. You owe him. You need to get your Bible out and read it. You need to get some word in that. I'm telling you, the only way you're going to make it in these last days, baby, is that you are connected with God. Bottom line. You ain't going to be able to live off your grandmama prayers. You ain't going to be able to live off your mama stuff. Your daddy, your whoever prayed for you, whoever got you covered. You ain't going to be able, not, not 2019. Because see, this is a celebration time. Because the completion was last year, so it's celebration time. So I'm telling you, right now, you're going to have to lean for that house, for that job job whatever you're gonna have to go ahead and praise him you're gonna have to go ahead and know that it's worked out every know that you get you know that he's doing it for your good he's working it out he's changing it around you got to have faith this year now you got to walk in and you can't keep on crying about that situation these folks leaving y'all y'all better start praising god they're leaving y'all because guess what he sees your future see he knows who can go with you and who can't go with you he knows who needs to be around you in order for you to get to that next level so stop crying about this spilled spoiled milk Stop crying about that. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him that somebody don't want you. I thought about this the other day, and I'm going to say this right quick. I thought about this the other day. I was riding in the car, and I thank God for my husband. I was riding in the car, and I thought about, I'm 47 years old. And in the 47 years, folks might not like my testimony. I ain't got time to worry about what you like no more. Okay, so I was thinking about the fact that all of the men that the Lord uh, that I chose, that he allowed to come into my path. They couldn't do nothing with me. Not this anointing I have on my life. Now I'm so glad the Lord let them leave me because I ain't have sense enough to go nowhere. I'm so glad. Because I was chasing folks, crying because folks didn't want me crying because they chose somebody else over me. Mad about that. Listen to me. Be thankful that the Lord is loving on you enough to send the right people, to push you to the right places. So thank you, Lord. I thank him. I thank him. I thank him that I have the husband I have right now because everybody can't deal with me. Everybody, I, you know, I ain't crazy, but I, I just, I'm a mess. So I thank the Lord for that. Y'all have a blessed day and just keep being strong. Keep being positive. Keep staying focused. You're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. God has not forgot about you.